Hey guys, what's good? Tino here and welcome back to Hello World. If you're still paying for 11 Labs or OpenAI's text-to-speech service, stop. Because open source software has completely caught up, meaning that you can generate realistic sounding voices on your computer without ever having to pay for anything else. So if you're a casual user and you just want to convert some text into speech, whatever your reason is, this project I'm about to show you has a pretty simple user interface where you can select from a range of voices. But if you're like me, you're a developer and maybe you want to use it in a service that you're making. In my own research for my project that I'm working on right now, this has been the best option that I've found to replacing something like OpenAI's text-to-speech, mainly because it uses the exact same API framework. So it's switching between this and the official OpenAI API just requires a small change to your code base, which can save you a lot of money if you're constantly testing out a feature that requires generating long-form audio because audio generation is not cheap. It's also extremely easy to set up and only requires one command to get up and running. All right, so that is the intro. Now let's get into the video. All right, so I'm on the computer now and um, I just want to do a quick comparison between all of the different text-to-speech services that you might be using. So OpenAI and 11 Labs. The free open source model that's really comparable to those paid services is this here. Um, it's called Kokoro and uh, you can find it on Hugging Face. It's been here for about a month. And in that month, a lot of people have set up a few projects that you can use to run this model. The project that we're going to be using to interact with this model is this one here that you can find on GitHub. Links will be in the description below. The repository is called Kokoro Fast API and really simply somebody's put the model inside a Docker container that you can then interact with using a Fast API. All right, so a little bit more about the model. Um, Kokoro is an open weights TTS model with 82 million parameters, really lightweight architecture, and it delivers comparable quality to larger models while being significantly faster and more cost efficient. It also has an Apache license and open weights, and they say that we can deploy it anywhere from production environments to personal projects. If you just want to quickly test out the model without setting anything up, without downloading anything, you can use any of these hugging face spaces just to get a feel of the model and what it can do. But this is limited, so eventually you will run out of credits. All right, so now let's do a quick sound test. All right, so for the sound test, I have this fast Coco API project um, running in a Docker container. And for me right now, it's not on my local machine, it's running in the cloud. I've given Kokoro 11 labs and, and the OpenAI text-to-speech service here, the same text. And um, I'm gonna generate the audio, um, play it out loud, and uh, leave it up to you to compare and decide which one you think is the best and whether or not the free version is on par with the other two. But for me and my needs, um, I feel like it is. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about the audio quality and and how you might use this. Hey, welcome back to seminar. What are you trying to learn today? Hey, welcome back to seminar. What are you trying to learn today? Hey, welcome back to seminar. What are you trying to learn today? All right, so now you know what it sounds like. Let's get into the fun part, which is getting the model to run on our machines. And the only requirement for this is to have Docker on your machine, which can be done by simply going to docker.com and then using the one-click installers that they have on their website. So for Mac, Book, Windows, and Linux, um, just click the option for download Docker for desktop and it should be a simple install you might need to just restart just to make sure that it's running and after that all you need to do is run this docker command which can be found in the repository this will basically pull down a pre-built image and start serving it one thing to note if you have a gpu you might want to use the gpu option because it will make the audio generation faster if you have a cpu only obviously just use the cpu option all right, so once it's done downloading, you should see something like this. It will print out the URL that you need to go to to get access to the running container. So if you copy and paste that and put it into your browser, you should be greeted with the Fast Coco user interface. Like I said in the beginning, the user interface is really simple, but it comes with a lot of voices that you can pick from. So have a go at listening to all of them to see which one you like. And if you want to generate some audio, just pop some text into this box and press generate. So on my MacBook, it's pretty fast, but obviously that depends on how big your audio input is. That will dictate how quickly the audio is generated. And once it's been generated, it sounds something like this. Welcome everyone. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of machine learning. 
a field of artificial intelligence that allows computers to learn from data and make predictions without being explicitly programmed. At its core, machine learning is about finding patterns in data and using those patterns to make informed decisions. If you decide that you're happy with the audio, you can just hit the download button and then you can use it in whatever you want. All right, so that is the graphical user interface and it's the easiest way to interact with the model. But if you're a developer or you want to access this model in another application, um, if you go to forward slash docs, you'll see some documentation for how you can access this API. So you can just do simple, straightforward text-to-speech. You can also do audio streaming, which I'll show you in a few seconds. Or a pretty cool one is the captioned speech. So you get the audio files with the text time stamped at the right places. All right, so that's how you access the API. And, um, and just to showcase one cool way to interact with it, if you use Open Web UI as your main, as your main interface to interact with chatbots, you can basically connect this text-to-speech service. So if you go to the settings, which are in the admin panel, and go down to audio and put the address at which the model is running. So for me, it's localhost 8880 forward slash v1. Um, select the name that you want to use and put the name of the model here. If you save it, you can basically now um, try to call it and have a conversation with it. Hey there, can you hear what I'm saying? It seems you're suggesting interacting with something or someone. I'd be happy to help, but please clarify. Are you referring to making a call, testing a voice assistant, or having a conversation with a specific device or system? All right, so that's pretty cool. One thing that you'll find is that it all depends on the hardware that you have. So for me, I'm using an M1 MacBook, so the audio generation is going to be a bit slow. So it's not really feasible if I'm trying to have a real-time, fast conversation with it. One thing that you can do is push this Docker image that you've created or that you've pulled down into the cloud. And if you use something like GCP, so I created a GCP account specifically for this um, because they give you a bunch of free credits for signing up and you can just create a cloud run instance that has your deployed container hosting the model. So that means if you attach a GPU to that cloud run instance, the speed at which the audio will come back will be really fast. It's a bit out of the scope of this quick tutorial. I just I just wanted to show you guys um, how to generate fast audio. I'm using this to generate long form audio and I found this model really good for my needs. Let me know what you guys think about it. And if you're still listening at this point, uh, thank you for watching all the way till the end. And let me know what you think about the model. Let me know what you guys are trying to use it for. Peace.